few simple changes, updating your DNS for Wi-Fi and tweaking APN settings for mobile data, you can enjoy a faster, more stable internet connection. Is your phone's internet dragging and taking forever to load pages, videos, or apps? Maybe you're experiencing buffering on YouTube or slow downloads on your favorite apps. It can be really frustrating, especially when you're paying for fast internet and not getting what you expect. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to significantly speed up your phone's internet connection using simple settings that are already built into your phone. No third-party apps, no PC, and no technical skills required. We're going to fix your slow internet by focusing on two key areas. First, we'll boost your Wi-Fi speed, perfect if you use a router at home or connect to public networks. Secondly, we'll improve your mobile data speed. That's for those using a SIM card with a data plan. These are real, proven methods that work. In fact, depending on your phone and network, you might see your internet become twice or even three times faster than before. So if you've been struggling with poor connection, watch this video till the end. Before we begin, hit the subscribe and like icon so you won't miss more useful tech tips like this. All right, let's get started. Before changing any settings, let's first measure your current internet speed. This will help you see how much improvement you get later. Open Google Browser and type Internet Speed Test and choose any result, like Speed Test by Ookla or Google's own Speed Test. Tap Run Speed Test. It'll show values like Download Speed, Upload Speed. Focus on the Download Speed. That's the number we want to improve. Let's say your current speed is 9 megabits per second. Take note of that. Now let's proceed to change DNS settings for faster browsing. DNS, domain name system, is like the internet's phone book. It connects you to websites. Your phone usually uses your provider's default DNS, but it's often slow or crowded. Switching to Google's DNS can make your browsing faster and more reliable. Here's how to change it. Go to Settings. Tap Connections, select Wi-Fi, tap the gear icon next to your connected Wi-Fi. Tap Advanced Settings or View More, then scroll to IP Settings and switch from DHCP to Static. Now change the DNS 1 and 2 with the number displayed on screen. These are Google's DNS servers. They're trusted, fast, and safe. Once entered, tap Save. To make sure the changes apply properly, restart your phone. Now that DNS is updated, go back and run the speed test again. You'll probably notice a big difference.
As you can see, my download speed increased from 9 megabits per second to 95 megabits per second. That's more than 10 times faster. Web pages, YouTube videos, and app downloads now load almost instantly. Internet SIM data. Wi-Fi isn't the only thing that can be slow. Your mobile data might be just as frustrating. Whether you're in a crowded area or just using a weak signal, this next trick can help. Before we begin, make sure you have a SIM card inserted in your phone. If not, the access point names option won't show up at all. Now let's adjust your access point name APN settings. Go to settings, tap the search bar at the top, type access point names or APN, then select your active SIM card's internet access point. This is where your phone connects to your network provider. Scroll down and find authentication type. This setting controls how your phone communicates with the network. Depending on your location, phone brand, and mobile provider, one option may work better than the other. Here's what to do. If it's set to none, change it to P8P and test your internet speed. Then switch it to CHAP and test again. Whichever one gives you the best result, keep that selected. In my case, PAP gave me faster speeds, so I saved that option. And that's it. With just a few simple changes, updating your DNS for Wi-Fi and tweaking APN settings for mobile data, you can enjoy a faster, more stable internet connection without needing to install anything or buy a new device. If you found this video helpful, drop a like, tap subscribe, and share this video with someone who always complains about their slow internet. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you in the next one.